Welcome back to Study English with Frank. And today we're going to study 10 vocabulary words that may appear on your IELTS exam that are from the education sector. To start each new word, I will say the word three times and I want you to repeat them after me out loud. Let's get started. Curriculum 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 A curriculum is the subjects comprising a course of study at a school or college. Here are some examples. The school's curriculum includes both math and science. Many parents had concerns about the new curriculum. The national curriculum sets standards for key subjects. Literacy 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 is the ability to read and write. Here are some examples. Canada has a high literacy rate. Adult literacy programs have helped many improve their reading skills. Literacy is a fundamental skill in modern society. Tuition 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 is the fee for instruction, especially at a formal institution of learning. Here are some examples. University tuition fees have become more and more costly. She received a scholarship that covers her tuition. International students often pay higher tuition. Pedagogy 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 is the method and practice of teaching. Here are some examples. The professor is known for his unique pedagogy. Modern pedagogy emphasizes interactive learning. The school follows a traditional pedagogy. Enroll. 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 To enroll is to sign up or register for a course or school. Here are some examples. I decided to enroll in a photography class. How many students enrolled this semester? She enrolled at the local community college. Tutorial 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 A tutorial is a period of study with a tutor involving one or more students. Here are some examples. He offers a tutorial on advanced math. The online course has video tutorials. That's kind of like what we're doing here today on Study English with Frank. We are doing a tutorial on vocabulary words that you will need to know to get a high grade in your IELTS exam. I missed the lecture, so 
I attended the tutorial. Semester. 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 A semester is one of the two main periods into which a school or college year is divided. So you might think of the fall semester that starts in September and usually goes through to about the 15th of December. And then you have the spring semester, which goes from the first week of January through May. Those are two semesters in college. Here are some examples used in a sentence. The fall semester starts in September. She's studying abroad next semester. How many courses are you taking this semester? Homework. 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 Homework are tasks given by teachers to be done outside of regular class time. Here are some examples. I have to finish my math homework tonight. Do you have a lot of homework for the weekend? Some educators believe less homework is better for students. Scholarship. 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 Scholarship is money that is awarded to students to help pay for their education. Here are some examples. She received a full scholarship to the university. There are many scholarships available for talented athletes. Applying for scholarships can help reduce college expenses. Lecture. 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 A lecture is a formal talk on a particular subject given to a group. Here are some examples. I attended a lecture on climate change. The professor's lectures are always engaging and informative. The guest speaker delivered an inspiring lecture. Well, there you go, 10 new vocabulary words that you can learn for your ILIS exam in relation to the education sector. We have many more planned for you, so be sure and subscribe if you have not already done so, so that you will be notified the next time we release a new lesson on ILIS vocabulary. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time here at Study English with Frank. So long for today.